Raju's friend Singh the truck worked very hard carrying heavy loads all over Funpur. From the farm to the market, from the market to the school. Up Chupna Hill and down, Singh didn't stop for a moment, but went all about town. One Sunday morning, Raju and the others met Singh at the beach. Singh, it's a holiday today. No one works on a Sunday. You should take the day off. Come and relax with us. You look like you could do with some rest. <sighs> I'd love to join you, my friends, but I can't. There's too much to do. Too many things have to be delivered. Oh, come on, Singh. You've been working round the clock all week. You definitely need to take a break. We'll help you with your deliveries later. <sighs> I really, really wish I could, but I can't. The vendors are counting on me. I can't let them down. Bye for now, folks. Singh didn't stop to rest. He went on and on and on working, delivering heavy loads. Until finally, one day... Oh. <sighs> Holy hubcaps, I can barely move. This load suddenly feels very heavy. I'm feeling dull, too. <gasps> and my wheels are all wobbly. <laughs> Raju and the others towed Singh to Mr. Motorchi's garage. Oh, I feel very dull, Mr. Motorchi. And so very tired. And my wheels, they feel like lead. You've been working too hard, Singh. Too hard for your own good. Your batteries are all worn out, and you seem ready to have a breakdown. Singh's always working too hard, Mr. Motor G. He hardly rests. And he doesn't take a single day off. No matter how much we tell him to. Oh. Oh. Can you give me some of your special battery tonic, Mr. Motor G? I'm sure that'll make me feel better. I sure will give you some of my special battery tonic, Sing. But that's a temporary solution. What you need is lots of rest. Relax, have some fun, and you'll be ready to race in no time. So, Sing took a few days off work, while his friends helped lighten his load. Don't worry about a thing, Sing. We'll look after your deliveries while you rest. Thank you. You are true friends. Tina took him to the park. Look at the roses we planted last year, Singh. Aren't they lovely? Why, yes, they are, Tina. I had noticed that they blossomed already. <sighs> Rafi played some games with him. Hmm. Your move, big guy. Bobby made sure he took plenty of naps and brought him nutritious food. Ah, hmm. That nap sure did me good, Bobby. That's very good, Sing. Now it's time for something that'll make you feel strong and healthy. In fact, everyone in Funpaw chipped in. Anita and Dan played him music. This music is so soothing. It makes me feel so much better. And Vic read him bedtime stories. And the prince and the princess of Truckland had a whole motorcade of little trucklets. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Hmm. <laughs> Good night, old friend. 
A few days later, Singh went back to Mr. Motoji. Hmm. As fit as a fiddle and as bright as a spark. Congratulations, Sing. Your batteries are fully charged, and you're as good as new. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I feel, Mr. Motor G. So was it the battery tonic that did the trick? The tonic helped, Mr. Motor G. But it's because of my friends that I feel perfect now. They took such good care of me, and they even did all my work while I rested. As they should, Sing. No tonic works as well as friends' loving care does. Remember, Sing, no matter how important your work is, it's also very important to rest and have fun from time to time. Mr. Motoji's very right, Sing. No one can and no one should go on and on working. It can tire you out and make you feel very dull. And we don't want you to feel that way. Well, with friends like you guys, I never could. Mwah. Hey, now that Sing's back on his wheels, how about a race? Sure thing, little tootler. I'm ready to go. And so, with some help from his fun poor friends, Sing was back on his wheels and as good as new again. Fun, two, three, go! Yeah.